All right, hello everyone, and be so surprised all of you are back. <clears throat> and this time we have some uh, kind of uh, comedy. Uh, somebody, one of you, he uh, posted this uh, saying that um, Muhammad Hijab, he made uh, a poll in his uh, page in Facebook, sorry, in uh, YouTube. And actually I posted the link down in the info for those who care to see. And he's saying there, which Islamophobes would you like me to debate from the following? And then he is uh, mentioning names. And then when it's come to me, he is saying, uh, the Christian uh, boy. And between two bracket prince. Now, the reason he do that, because it's the easiest way to make a challenge and you run away from the same time. So I will insult him. He will insult me. And then we will not have it happen. <laughs> so he looked like he is he is willing to debate me but you know what uh, <laughs> first of all you see the proof that you are the boy is speaking in such a way if you are really an adult man you will not use boy even when you spoke to uh, uh, to David Wood in, a, in what we call it if we can call it debate which is nothing but a mockery and a joke and you made fun of your prophet and your God and you said, uh, when your prophet, he says, Allah have hands. You said, who said so? <laughs> What's this color? <laughs> anyway, our vid your videos are priceless. But you are making mockery in order to run away. In the same time, you are making a challenge or you are making a mockery. First of all, I am the one who challenged you a long time ago. And we have tons of videos in YouTube right now. They are posted for many years. And you are the one who never do dare. Secondly, why you are, uh, you know, insulting? Aren't you trying supposedly to prove that you are a person who is logical, smart, intelligent? Or you are just a boy who speak in the language of boys? And this is why, actually, when uh, before, when we, you know, uh, after he finished his debate with uh, uh, David Wood, somebody asked him, when you are going to debate Christian Prince? He said, yeah, sure, sure. Second day, not even eight hours after he have an interview in the morning, they recorded him and uh, uh, Ali Dawa, and he called me princess, and he said he will not and he will never debate me. And you know you can see the video here. This is the name of the video, and this is their voice speaking speaking about me. Christian Prince challenged Muhammad Hijab November twenty eighth to eighteen, and uh, Muhammad Hijab when he made this video speaking to his friend Ali Dawa. They said it clearly they will not do it, you know, they will not do it. Why they will not do it? <clears throat> you can search for this title, any title, all right? Now, why you will not do it? You give me a reason. And, 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 and if you are saying you will not do it, why you are making this poll? Is that to make the Muslims think that you are a hero and who can do it? Now, look, we have a problem. And the problem is after you ask the Muslims who you would like me to debate. So now you have an obligation to keep your promise especially the Muslims down they are saying Christian Prince you see all those Muslims in the comment they are saying to you Christian Prince please he is causing the biggest damage to Islam do you see it so you ask the Muslims who is the one you want to debate and they are saying to you we want you to debate Christian Prince hmm? so now are you going to do it or you will not I tell you that you will never do it. And if you are saying you will do it, you will do this. I, I, I can tell you from now what you will do. I challenge him to show his face. Everybody knows that I debate and using internet. I don't go anywhere. So he will make that an excuse. So as long you know how I debate and as long you know how I do it, why you are saying I debate the Christian Prince unless you are accepting to debate me through the internet? You are not worth for me to go anywhere to even to to stand uh, next to you it's not worth even a, a penny so when you say you are willing to debate me and you know how i debate that's mean you have no excuse to say i want him to come and come to london or come to here and etc area no that's mean you accept to call me so the first excuse is gone because you are the one who is asking the muslims do you want me to and you call me boy no problem call me boy actually in the video there he called me princess 
<laughs> this is telling me how scared you are. You keep insulting just to, to get away from it. I mean, what you will lose, why you are saying which one? I mean, who is holding you? I am almost every day online, sometime two, three, four times. Who's holding you? You do not need to make a vote on it. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? Look, look what Muslims are saying to you. All those comments, they are saying to you, Christian Prince, Christian Prince. He is causing damage to Islam. Let us read this comment. Guys, please like though like this so he can see. CP has given the Christians so much confidence and believes people are afraid of him. So please, Muhammad, for the sake of Allah, debate CP and break down his ego. I mean, are you going to the guy he just said to you for the sake of Allah? Are you going to drop down in the floor the sake of Allah? Or you will do it. <laughs> so look what you did to yourself. This is very embarrassing. So now the first thing he will say, I wanted to debate him, but he don't want to come. He don't want to show himself. But you know that I don't do that. So you know already that when you say, I, who you want me to debate, it means you don't put conditions. Those who put conditions are the one who is, is scared. People, they are interested in your answer and my answer. And don't worry, at the end of the day, people will laugh either at you or at me because your answers will make them laugh or my answers. So don't worry about it. Muslims are asking you and they are the, the, there is depression here. Christian Prince, brother, I would like you to kill he. <laughs> Christian Prince trolled. <laughs> debate the Christian press I mean don't you see that right do you see it the reason I was visiting Romania and the Christian women kept using Christian Prince as her source against Islam <laughs> this guy he got busted by a Romanian woman he is she is using my source and he could not answer her so he have a pain Please do something. Christian Prince, please bury him. Bury Christianity once for all. Do you see it? All your supporters, this guy is calling me princes, as you call me in the other video. So, brother Muhammad Hijab, are you trolling or you mean it? Which, let me make it more simple. Is this is a really challenge or it is a trolling? I think and I guess you are just a trolling. I don't think you mean it. I forgive thee. You know, for the sake of the shin of Allah, do it. Hmm? The scholar, they say Allah has parts. Who said so? Which is scholar? It's your prophet. <laughs> so I say to all the Muslims who they are voting here down in the comment. Your boy, he is the boy, because it's a boy challenge, unless he do it. So let us see if he is really a man, and he will do it. Debate the Christian princes and inhaliate him once for all. Do you see it, my friend? Are you going to ignore all of this? So now you are in a trap. You made them, you asked them, you asked the crowd, those who donate for you, you made the video three hours, four hours after the, the debate with Muhammad Hijab, he was reciting Quran, a begging for money. And he claiming that more than 206,000 left Islam. And he and uh, Ali Dawa is the only one who can bring them back to Islam. And he said in the video, we need only uh, 500 selected people. Each one of them, he give 50, uh, Pound, hold on. What is that? How much money is that? I'm not good in. Uh, I mean, why? Why five hundred and why? Why the? <clears throat> uh, why one hundred pound? Uh, let me see. If it is fifty, you see how how weak I am in mathematics. Okay, so we we need a brother. Uh, five hundred people. X, one hundred. 
you need every month 5,000 no hold on 100 what 5,000 50,000 pound you are asking for 50,000 pound and the the the, uh, uh, the reason you said in the video to, to do editing video editing <laughs> <laughs> And you stand in the speaker corner and you pause the video as it is. <laughs> oh, my friend. So, my friend, the boy is the one who don't accept his only challenge. You are the one who made the challenge now. And I'm ready for it anytime. You can call me anytime, anywhere. You don't want to call me, I will call you. Give me your Skype. Christian Prince is a must. I think I would become wajib for someone of ilm, which means of knowledge. Debate him openly in public because all of the false info and lies are spreading online. So do you see, my friend, and uh, the, the Muhammad Hijab, he says, but this guy, he don't do it openly. No, I do it openly. This is public. What is more public than YouTube? What is more public than YouTube? Debate CP, live in hell. Do you see it? Brother, brother, now you are, you made your own trap. You made your own trap. You have really to refute the one you call him the Christian boy. And the funny, by the way, when you say you want to, like you are asking them, do you want me to debate a Christian boy? I mean, you're insulting yourself because if I am a boy, why in the world even you make yourself equal to debate me? I mean, this is stupid of you. <laughs> do you see how he insults himself? Because when you call somebody and you claim that you want to debate him, that means he's a challenge. I mean, you pick up certain names for a reason, right? So why you want to debate a boy? Uh -huh. So we know that this is just an insult, so you can get away with it. And you will never debate me. And you will never, ever, ever, ever do it. Because you are too coward. And you know, and this is why when they debate, they debate people who don't speak Arabic. They said, so he can say to David Wood, <laughs> I know this is coming. You don't know Hebrew, you do not know Arabic. And by the way, Elijah means God is with us. <laughs> and Allah, he pray for not to. I mean, what a comedian. I like your comedy. So my friend, I, <clears throat> I encourage you for the sake of the shin of Allah and those who pray down in the text asking you to debate me. Why you will not do it? Please, Muhammad Hijab. Give yourself the glory. You see, you are the only one who can protect Islam. Do you know how many Muslims leave Islam because of my videos every day? Brother, it is time. I think it's time. I think it is time for the, the night of Allah, Muhammad Hijab. Especially after he got the... The donation he is asking for, <laughs> and the funny he was uh, he was reciting Quran. He was reciting those verses. Let me show you the verse he was reciting with his voice, and the Quran looked really funny with his voice. He was reciting this. I mean, why I'm surprised that you are doing this? Isn't it your God? He do that before you. So he was reciting this verse here. Hmm. Okay, so if Allah he need a loan, so why Muhammad Hijab he will not? Allah wanna do editing for videos too. He need to buy a microphone. This is God. If you lend into Allah a goodly loan, and this is the same verses Muhammad Hijab was uh, uh, singing with his funny voice and. Actually, if you want to see how the, vo how the how the Quran sounds so ugly, go and listen to him when he was reciting the Quran without editing. You know, they might make echo, etc., without filtering, and he would die laughing. This is what he was reciting, so the Muslims will give him money. 
so now after you get all the money you want and you made a challenge and I'm here waiting for you when you will do it is that uh, is that just a, a challenge for uh, like blah blah I think it's a challenge for blah blah from a blah blah boy so be the man who keep his words and by the way anyone who criticizes Islam is Islamophobe but what, what does that make your prophet the first verse in the Quran is attacking the Christian and the Jews so your prophet is Christian and Jewish folk. You Muslims, you are you have a phobia from our cross. You have phobia from the pig. You have phobia from the music. You have a phobia, and by the way, you you do everything. You have a phobia from alcohol, but nobody drink alcohol as much as you do. So, my friend, I'm going to make a poll. <laughs> And guess what? <laughs> In this poll, I will say, which one of those following Muslims you like me to debate? Number one, Muhammad Hijab. Number two, Muhammad Hijab. Number three, Muhammad Hijab. Number four, I'm not going to call you boy because you are not. I mean, you, you are a big boy. You are like six foot boy. <laughs> You know, being tall like a giraffe, but the brain is small, will not make you powerful, my friend. So I will make a poll, respond to your poll, and let us see what you will do. I say from now, I accept, and I challenge again. After all the videos I made, I challenge this guy who claimed to be somebody who knows Islam, and obviously he knows nothing about his cult. When you will do it, when it is going to happen, shame on you if you make such a poll and the Muslim they are saying to you, for the sake of Allah, brother, do it. For the sake of Allah, aren't you going to do it? Aren't you going to respond for somebody asking you for the sake of Allah? If you don't do it really, this is a very shameful thing, especially you are the one who's asking for it now. You are the one who pretend that you are a hero who can debate me. And as long as you have ability to do it, so why you don't do it? I mean, look at this. All the Muslims saying to you, Christian Prince, Christian Prince, Christian Prince. Do you see it? So aren't you going to do something about it or this is for a short time? I say and I claim that all this poll is for a short time because you want to show people that you are Popeye. Uh, do you know Popeye? Uh, let me remind you of Popeye. Hold on. Uh, where is Popeye? Popeye. Anyone remember Popeye? The one who eats spinach. <laughs> oh, I could not find his his, uh, his picture, Popeye. Yeah, they are, you are just being Popeye. You want to show the the you know uh, those poor people that you are a hero and you can really debate me. But the fact is not true. You will never do it. Otherwise, why you don't do it? Who's holding you? Literally, I mean, who is holding you? Be honest. Who is holding you? Nobody. Right? Yeah, Popeye, the, the solar man, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me get his uh, his uh, picture because uh, <clears throat> and that will make you a Popeye if you don't do it. You see, this guy is a Popeye. He's a cartoon. But if you don't do it, that will make you Popeye. This is uh, Muhammad Hijab, he eats Spanish, and Muhammad Hijab is going to debate a Christian prince. Who of those who you like me to debate? Give me the following names. <laughs> okay, pop eye. <laughs> Your eye is popping out, and you will not do it. And I want everybody to leave his comment and tell me, do you think this guy ever will do such a thing? Do you think ever he would dare to call me? 
And you know what? Just to make it simple, just to show you that you know nothing, open debate. Question from you, question from me, anything. Those people are fake. They have to prepare for a debate for two months, three months in advance. They print 1,000 paper from the internet, and then they come and say, we want to debate you. This is not a debate. Call me without even telling me. Get me into surprise, brother. Give me a call, papai, and say, hey, Christian Prince, I'm here to challenge you. One question from me, one question from you. Can you do it? And Christian Prince, you don't eat spinach at all. He will say, ah, I'm really scared. Can I eat spinach first? And Muhammad Hijab, he will say, no. Spinach is only my food. Mm. So, Mr. Popeye, we are waiting for you. And shame on you if you don't do what you claim you can do. People will laugh at you, and people already are laughing. Leave your comment and tell me what do you think, and maybe I will make a poll. I don't know. Is it worth it to make a poll about this guy? I think it's not worth it. It's not worth even a Spanish can to talk about. But I just wanted to show you the hypocrisy that this, this person is not a grown man. He is just a kid. That's why he's insulting, trying to avoid debating me and making those show, or let us say, it's a theater in front of those poor Muslims to present to like to pretend like he is a person who can debate. But you cannot debate. All of us, we knew this. And you will never do it. Download the video, share it everywhere, and we are waiting for Mr. Popeye to accept the challenge. And this is a Christian prince with you was accepting a challenge from the pop eye Muhammad hijab the night of Allah who said Allah has part who said so <laughs> your prophet he said so <laughs> and your God Allah <laughs> and we are laughing thank you very much guys for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you in more videos don't forget to watch the previous videos we have many of them today don't forget to watch them and enjoy uh, the answers we give you so you can learn how to refute this cult take care and god bless